So this is a round of Marcus Enning riding Camille Faux at, uh, in Madrid. Um, he won this, this Grand Prix uh, with this jump off. And um, I find that Marcus Enning's riding in general in, in fast rounds and jump off rounds is incredibly smooth. And he allows the horse to jump through its body to the best of its ability. And he's also incredible at turning, like he can turn up to verticals and turn up to jumps with so few strides. And that really is what makes for fast jump offs is doing very few strides around turns, not necessarily going fast, although this horse is incredibly careful and incredibly fast. Um, but uh, the way Marcus can ride such a hot horse and do it as smoothly as he does with very little touching of the mouth and it's just guiding the horse around the turns in a really clean, beautiful way and I find that to be very effective speed riding. So here he sets off. The horse, of course, is an incredibly high jumper, incredibly careful. And you, you watch his hands, how he just leads the horse through the air and just moves from one jump to the next in such a quick, fast way. He lands and moves away from the jump very fast. He turns up to this oxer uh, combination. The horse is just rolling over his body and jumping in such a beautiful way. And even he's turning the horse in the air as he gets to a jump and just leading the horse through the turn. There's very little resistance from the hand. It's just balancing. And then this turn was heroic at the very end. He cuts in and then just flies to the last jump in an incredibly smooth way and gets to the vertical and just lets the horse jump over the last jump. It's just, just a brilliant jump off. So the next jump off that we're gonna watch is McLean Ward uh, winning the Grand Prix of Geneva um, with his fabulous mare, H.H. Azur. Um, and this is really one of the jump offs of the decade. Uh, Martin Fuchs had gone ahead of him and thrown down an incredibly fast jump off round. Um, and Martin's gray horse has just this unbelievably huge stride. And what's incredible to watch in McLean's round is McLean does everything that he can to match the strides of Martin's horse, which um, is almost impossible to do. And yes, and yet in most of the lines, uh, McLean matches the strides. There's two lines that he doesn't. Um, but where he really won this jump off is the turn from fence number two to fence number three. And you'll see that he just does this incredibly fast turn with very few strides around the turn. And it's really impressive to watch. So here you see McLean is getting composure with his horse, organizing the horse, and then he sets off at a quite a good gallop, but you see from, from jump one to jump two in the jump off, he does seven strides, which is most horses couldn't do this, and McLean really commits to get there. And he just absolutely puts the pedal to the metal. Then this is the turn where he, in my opinion, won the Grand Prix. He just went around that turn with as few strides as you can imagine. Here he matched Martin's strides. Here he did one more than Martin did, but he then travels to this double incredibly fast, sets up the horse for the double, and then matches the eight strides here, eight strides around the corner to this yellow jump, and then tries to do the eight strides that Martin did to the last, doesn't get it, and the mare absolutely sets herself up and still jumps it clear in nine and manages to win the class for him. But he had won the class from fence number two to fence number three. He just continues with this smooth, unbelievably forward gallop. It's really one of the best, the best jump offs of the decade. I just find that to be uh, such an impre impressive jump off. Incredible win for McLean. So the reason why we're talking about these jump offs are you can see how although these two jump offs were incredibly fast jump offs, they can only be done this well because these riders are incredibly smooth, polished riders. They have this great sophistication, this great communication with their horses. Their horses will do whatever it is that they ask. And in both of these jump offs, both these riders take huge risks, but at the same times they're calculated risks. Interestingly, McLean, even with trying to do eight, 
his position and the way that he presented the jump to Azor, she was able to actually fit one extra stride in and still clear the fence. That comes, that, that doesn't come by accident. That comes because of, there's a sophistication to both of these two riders. They're able to really ride fast, but to do so in an incredibly polished way. And I feel like, if we can keep that in mind in all of the riding that we do, it's going to bring us to a higher level to strive to, for that kind of perfection um, in our own riding will just make us better riders. Okay, so enough of this talking. Let's go out there and do some exercises and I'll show you how you can work on making your riding better, making your riding smoother and more polished.